Hello, everyone. Happy almost April. I am recording this on March 31st. So when you listen to this, it will probably be April 1st. And um, I'm Tanya Penny. I'm an occupational ther therapist by degree, um, an intuitive guide, and a divine channel, and author of the Connect with the Divine You book and journals. And this is your April guidance, April insights and guidance. So the first thing that I've been guided to tell you, or to remind you, they're saying, is that every time you are triggered by an event, whether it be a personal event, somebody says or does something, something happens to you, or whether it's a more a uh, larger scale event, like I'm going to use the example of the Nashville shooting. They are telling me to remind you that every time you are triggered by a situation, it is an opportunity for you to heal something from your past on a deeper level. So if we can remember that when we're triggered, if we can remember that and then remind ourselves, okay, so what is this bringing up for me? Okay, what from what wound from my past is this triggering? And how is this? You know, how can I heal this on a deeper level? And typically, you know, working with releasing the emotion that it created on a deeper level, whether it's sadness or anger or shame. And of course, then the limiting belief or fear that's attached to it. Every, every belief, every emotion has, it goes both ways, right? So every emotion that you experience has a limiting belief or fear attached to it and vice versa. And then we usually feel it in the body somewhere. So one of the best ways I know how to shift that, to work with that, to heal that wound on a deeper level, to heal and release that emotion from the body, and also that limiting belief here is the self-healing processes that I've created. And everyone listening to this probably has a free sample um, if you don't, then you can go below this video and sign up for my Evolve Starter Kit, and you will get a free sample practice to do that. And those of you that have worked with me before, who've signed up for a program, you have lots of processes for different life areas, for different triggers, right? So you're going to want to go and use one of those um, because they will support you to do that, to heal that on a deeper level. So next for April, you know, what came in also was that there's going to be more gentle, calming energies. Now, I know I just spoke to you about triggers, but in general, we are moving into energies that are going to be a little more gentle, a little more calming. And, you know, when I dove deeper into that, it was really about you creating those gentler, calmer energies. And this happens when you work on that compassion piece, self-compassion, compassion for yourself. Let's say when you're triggered, compassion, compassion, compassion. So April is a big month to practice compassion for yourself, but also for other people as well. And that's going to help you with the triggers as well. Remembering that Everybody who says or does something, whether again, it's personal or whether it's more global, that their soul signed up to play that part, to be that person that is the trigger. Um, and we actually asked for it, right? Whether it's again, global or whether it's personal, our souls all signed up for our experiences whether there's experiences in the past or current experiences. So I think that's also very helpful to remind yourself. It helps put you in a place of power versus a place of victim or they're doing this to me. 
No, they're doing it for you to help you to release this gunk, right? That for many of us has been carried on from many past lifetimes. And this is finally, you know, finally the lifetime where we get a chance to release a lot of this gunk. And then also, you know, our souls chose some of these challenging, triggering experiences in order to overcome. So our soul loves a challenge. I know the human part of us maybe doesn't, but our soul loves a challenge. It loves to overcome things. So if you can remember that, so it's like we're, we're holding this higher spiritual perspective, but we're also stepping in as what I say called the divine parent to help heal the wounded human part of us. So really focusing on compassion for yourself, loving self-talk, like clearing out that not good enough stuff is really big and validating yourself, validating whatever you feel, validating the fears, validating whatever it is. Again, remembering that these came from a past trauma, a past wound. And we're really here. That's part of the compassion piece, I would say is that validation and understanding for this part of you who feels what he or she feels and you know the belief that they attached, the fear of the belief that was attached to that wounded trauma. Also nurturing yourself. So what can you do to uh, ritual, rituals, routines, practices to soothe that part of you, to soothe your central nervous system? So what practices need to be put in place on a daily or weekly basis? That's something to reflect on and really start to put more into play. Taking time for that in April, really going to be helpful. Um, again, helping us to have that gentler, calming energy. Because when I was, because when, when I heard gent gentle, calming energies, I was like, you know, I think things are going to continue to intensify. So that's not what they meant. <laughs> Um, again, they meant you, me, providing that soothing, that gentleness, that calming energy for ourselves. That's a real, I'm going to call it a real superpower, a real inner strength to, um, to do this, right? to practice this. Um, you know, a practice that I use besides the, the self-healing process to soothe myself Every night before I, oh, while I'm going to sleep is the guided meditation practice, which you also um, usually have a free sample. Again, if you don't sign up for the starter kit below, but that's a real soothing thing that I've done since 2008 when I was diagnosed with MS and has helped me to heal the MS and the anxiety and the PTSD and the God fill in the blank, the self-hatred, the eating disorders, all of it. So also the last thing I'm being guided to share is this is also a time for deeper guidance, deeper insights into new projects, new ideas, new, like new beginnings. And I know we had the equinox at the end of March. And so those energies kind of started then. And they're going to grow in April. So you're really going to be guided as you're doing this other work of self-compassion and nurturing and working when, you know, with these parts of you that are triggered. You're also going to see that for many of you, you are coaches, tealer, teachers, and healers, or are meant to be. And meant to do that in a deeper way. The more we heal our own stuff, the more that we have this self-compassion for ourself, we can help others to do the same. And that's, you know, really what we're, we're here to do on the planet, right? Is to give and receive more love in all forms. And, you know, I'm thinking like today, um, many of you know, and, and those of you that are new, maybe don't, I still do some part-time OT work here on the big island of Hawaii. And I had a patient today, a new patient that has MS. And as you know, I used to have MS, um, you know, I healed it 
by 2010, and I support others to do that as well. And so I had this new MS patient, and I was able to share with him, you know, my experience. So it's it's like we're to have our own experiences, our own deeper healing, and then you're meant to support other people through that as well. Many of you, whether you're getting paid to do it, whether it's volunteered, whether it's just family and friends, right? We're we're meant to pass it on. So you're going to get deeper into that this month and really seeing your gifts and opening to new projects and ideas and opening more to your divine gifts, more insights into that as well. So in a nutshell, that's April for us. And let's see if there's anything else I I'm being guided to share. Um, I have some new podcast episodes that are coming out. I'll put a link to that below this video, or it'll be in the email that includes this video, or the link to it, and one on depression. And I just went through another um, kind of, you know, I used to have depression a lot as a teenager, um, wanted to kill myself. And even in my early 20s, I suffered a lot from depression and thought about taking my own life. And then of course, when I had the MS really bad, um, I considered that as well. And it was interesting the other day, I had some deeper layers of past gunk, right? That the trigger, the wound stuff coming up. I have some pretty big triggers lately in my life. Um, you know, having to go to the ER because my sweetie had, you know, really bad pain. And that brought up a whole bunch of stuff for me, um, needing to move out of our home by the end of the month and finding a new place to live, the spirit of being homeless. So anyways, I've had a lot of triggers and a lot of deeper stuff come up and depression with that. And, you know, thank goodness I have the tools in order to work with that at this point and support as well. Um, you know, I still, even though I do what I do, I still get support from other people. So I hope that you guys that are also teachers, healers, and coaches still get support from other people. We're not meant, no matter how high up on, you know, no matter where you are in your journey, um, that you still get support from other people. We're never meant to do it alone. Um, but yeah, so you might want to listen to that depression podcast and a few of the others that I'm going to be putting out there, like Divine Timing. I'm also going to be doing one on anxiety and overwhelm. Um, those are the big topics that are coming up for me to, to focus on. And if you haven't yet, you might want to join me for Connect with the Divine You. It's key number one of the 10 Evolve Keys. And we're moving into month number two of that. Um, you can still catch up. It's, you know, we're really just sliding into it. And if you want to do all 10 keys, you can join me for the Evolve journey. And I have a new option as well that I want to let you guys know about called Catalyst. For those of you that know you want to go deeper into several of the 10 keys, you want my one-on-one -on -one support. It's kind of a program that you, me and you co-create together. So I'll put the link for that below as well. And I have a few spots left for that. So wishing you guys lots of love, lots of courage, and just a lot of compassion and reminding you that you are a powerful soul and you can move through whatever you're experiencing right now to the other side. And, you know, as always, I like to remind people that to heal the planet, we need to do deeper layers of our own healing and releasing more of our old gunk, right? I call it gunk lately. So um, if I can support you on a deeper way to do that, I would be honored and would love to do that and hope you have a beautiful rest of April. Bye.